Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, I'm gonna do part two of my New York City trip in, that was when I went in August. Um, I'll link video one down below so you guys can check that out and let's get started. So I think I left off at, I think we're in the cab and um, I fell asleep because we had been up since 2.30. So we had been up since 2.30 and that was like, it was, well we landed at like 9.30 Got our bag, so it was like quarter to ten by now, and we um we went so yeah it was quarter to ten. Got our bags, went in the cab. So by the time we got to Manhattan, it was like eleven thirty, and I fell asleep in the cab. So we get into Manhattan, and I kind of started waking up like once we got into Manhattan because like everyone was laying on their horns and stuff, and it was just like it was crazy. It was so busy, but like I was like we're finally here. We're finally here. So I um, I was really excited and like just like I had like a lot of shopping to do, things I wanted to see. And I just like didn't know if I was going to get it done in the time that I was there. So um, we got into the hotel. We stayed at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square, like right in the middle of Times Square. So we got in, we went into the um, parking thing and... Um, we got out, we got our bags, and then we started walking into the hotel. And the first, we were looking for the check-in. The first floor isn't check-in. It's all elevators. Like, that's, because they have 47 floors, I think, it's just elevators. So, um, we went and we got, like, directions. Like, different side of the hotel and the elevators went to, like, different floors. So, one went up to, like, floor 16, and then the other one went... 16 and up or something like that so we got on our elevator and we went to the eighth floor because that's where check-in was so um we went to check-in and um there was a lot of people checking in and i was just so happy i was off the airplane like in my other video you'll know that like i didn't like the flight i'm not a flyer like we're going back next summer and i'll do it again but i hate flying so, I'll do it again though. Um, so we went and we waited in line for a bit, checked in, and all the, like, I'll probably insert pictures and stuff. Um, the elevators were glass and they were like an outside hub thing. It was round and you could all see them like going up and down and stuff. It was pretty cool and we were like, we have to get on those, oh my god. So, um, we went into the... We, like, we checked in, we got our room, we were on the 27th floor, and we went and got our, on the elevator, we went up, and it went pretty fast, but when it stopped, it wasn't, like, the normal elevator stop, it just, like, stopped, it was, it was fine. So, we got off the elevator, and we went around, we looked for a room, and we walked in, and, like, it was a huge room. I'll insert pictures here, too. Um, I'll probably be inserting pictures, like, throughout the video, just to give you guys like just so you can see it um so we went into a room and there was a huge two two double or two queen beds a huge bathroom we had a fridge huge tv like this one <laughs> um so we put our stuff down and then we were all really hungry so it was about lunchtime now so we went down and there's two starbucks in the hotel perfect for me i love starbucks um we went down to the first floor Starbucks. Mm, yeah, first floor Starbucks. We got something to eat and coffee and stuff. I was so tired. So we were up and up since 2.30 a.m. And it was already noon. So do the math of the hours I'd been up. And a flight, too. So um, And navigating through JFK, which wasn't hard. And then we went... Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, okay, so we went and we got Starbucks, um, then we went back up to the 8th floor where they had like some nice seating and stuff, and we sat and we ate, um, and then we decided to like go out and start venturing into Manhattan and try not to get lost. So while we were there, we only took one cab ride, which was from our hotel to JFK when we were leaving. Other times we did like the hop on hop off bus system. Um, we saw the first day when we got there, we just kind of toured around and we walked 
Um, we walked pretty far the first day. We saw like a lot of the shopping and like just how busy it was and just like restaurants and stuff that were around there. And then we um, uh, we went like around and just saw stuff. And then I was just kind of planning like all the shopping that I had to do and like for people and stuff and what I wanted to get and what I wanted to see. And my hair is bothering me today. It's hot out, so it's not staying straight. Um, so, and I actually wore, like, people are saying, like, oh, bring, like, walking shoes because you're going to do a lot of walking in New York. That's true. But also, I wore flip-flops, and they were really comfy the entire time. Like, just pink flip-flops. Um, my feet were fine. And you probably had stepped on and pushed around a bit, like, out, out in Times Square because it was so busy. So the first time, we first day, we walked around, and we, um, we saw a lot. My mom just wanted to take pictures and stuff, so me and my sister just kind of followed her around. Then we walked for a good four hours, and then we went to... Uh, back to the hotel about 4.30, and then we decided on dinner... And then me and my mom actually went up to the, one of the restaurants, I think on the 8th floor, um, and I had like a view looking down into Times Square, we sat like along the window, which was really nice. Me and mom had dinner, my sister stayed in the room, um, she had dinner somewhere else. And then we relaxed for a bit and just um, chilled out, and then later that night we went back into Times Square once it got dark. and. Oh my goodness, like, you see pictures of Times Square at night, and you cannot realize what it's like until you actually get there. So, it was amazing. Like, you saw everything, you know, you saw where the ball drops for New Year's, um, and it was just, like, crazy. There was... Oh, I'm tired. Um, and... Forever 21, no, yeah, Forever 21, Air Apostle, a MAC Cosmetics store, M&M's, um, Hershey store, like, tons of stuff right in Times Square, and, and, like, if you go to Times Square at, like, lunchtime, and then you go to Times Square at midnight, it's the same, there's that hundreds of thousands of people there, it doesn't matter what time you go, there's still tons and tons of people um, it was a little overwhelming for me at first, and by the first night, I was, like, having many, like, anxiety attacks because I'm not used to that many people all at once, all the time. Like, the people didn't really let, like, it was just like that the whole time, but, like, by the second day and I got out, I was fine. It was just the first day that really, like, overwhelmed me with the flight, getting up early, the whole traveling thing, um, the airport, getting our bags, like my nervousness of losing my luggage, um, just everything. Like that was my first time, like, like actually traveling and stuff, like out of the country and so on my on a flight. And it was only an hour and twenty minutes, but it was still pretty nerve wracking. So we went um, back into Times Square, and I went over to the Mac. Um, store and it was insane like I have nothing against anyone like it was a good atmosphere like there was a lot of employees versus customers like there's people piling in there because it was in Times Square but it was a very different atmosphere like do shopping for makeup and cosmetics and it just like, the people were really friendly, and they weren't pushing you to buy anything, um, and it wasn't, wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Like, I have a Mac counter, and it's just, like, one or two people there, and it's just, like, a couple, like, counters, literally. There's not that much there. And this was an actual Mac store, so they had everything. Um, I actually did an NYC haul that I'll put here for you guys to see. Um, and there was so many Sephora's, too. But anyway, so I was in the Mac store and it was a lot of people just like there was music going on and there was people, the employees were dancing and trying to help people. There was young girls and like guys and older girls and like 
all age, age ranges, which is cool to see. Um, and so we went in there and I looked around. I kind of spotted some things that I wanted to buy, but I wasn't just going to buy right then and there because I had so many other places to go see before we went um, to like the next couple days I had in Manhattan shopping. So we went, um, we spent a bit of time out in Times Square that night and then we were really tired. We stayed up till about 11.30 and we we're up till 2.30 a.m. like previously. So it was a really long day. So we all just kind of crashed at like 11, 11.30. And then the next day we woke up um, pretty early actually. We we're all just excited to get back out and get going again. And uh, we went back out into Manhattan and um, we had breakfast really early, like 8 o'clock in the morning, got ready, went out into the uh, Manhattan again. And we went to get the bus tickets for the hop on, hop off bus. And that's, you can go, there's like Midtown, Lower Town, and up, Upper, Uptown or whatever. Does like Upper East, Upper West. Oh, why am I so tired? Um, and like Harlem and stuff. And so we got our tickets for that for two days for the Tuesday and Wednesday and we um we did that um and then the first the Tuesday uh, Monday we got there the Tuesday we woke up early had breakfast and then we went to um we did the lower midtown Manhattan tour we got off on a couple places and we had a couple places we want to get off on and stop and like go shopping and then you can just get back on so we did that um it was really cool to see that you know the different parts like you go down to little italy and chinatown how different it is from like harlem and upper east and upper west um so the second day on the tuesday we were there we did the midtown lower town kind of thing in manhattan and then we um we did we did that for an entire day and the weather was pretty good, so it wasn't too hot to get off and walk, which was really good. I was hoping it wasn't going to be too hot to get off and walk. And then we did, um, and then that night we went for dinner. Where's Cody? My dog. Um, we went for dinner that night, and back in, out into Manhattan. And then the Toys R Us, I think it's on a corner, it has a Ferris wheel in it. Like, who puts a Ferris wheel in a store? Oh, wait. Toys R Us does. Crazy. Um, so, it was cool to see. Like, everything is just so lit up. And a fact about Times Square is that companies cannot turn off their lights for... Like, they have to stay on 24-7. Like, it doesn't matter. And they have to pay for it, too. If you have a business in Times Square, your billboard or your signs must be on 24-7. Which will run up huge electrical bills, but that's just them. And so we did that the second day. We did the lower. The next day was the Wednesday. Or the third day we were there. We did the upper east and upper west side. <coughs> Sorry. Um, we... We saw a lot of like some places that like Gossip Girl was filmed and just heard a lot about the buildings. We went along like Central Park and we saw that and we went we got off and we went into Central Park a bit in the zoo. Um, we wandered a bit into Central Park but Central Park is huge and you just need an entire day which we didn't have to go and see everything. So it which was kind of a bummer but we're gonna go back and we're gonna see it all again. So we did, we got off for the Upper West side, or Upper East Side. We didn't get off on the Upper West. We just kind of stayed on the bus and toured around. And then we, what else did we do? We did, um, we went like through Harlem and Saw, and there's like a cop on every corner there, like scary, but it's not what it used to be. It's like better now to live in and much safer. Um... And then we came down and we went like upper, we started in Times Square again, we went upper west, Harlem and upper east and then back down to um, Times Square. And then we didn't know where to go for, oh no, on the, on the Tuesday we went to TGI Fridays in Times Square 
and like building like places there are very long and two floors like restaurants are like TJ Fries you walk in and it's like tables and then the bar and then you go upstairs and there's more seating like that's spread out and then TJ Fridays Tuesday Wednesday was my mom's birthday so we went to the Hard Rock Cafe and that's the day we did the Upper West Harlem and Upper East Side and then the next day we were heading home so it was kind of a bummer the time went so quick but it was so much fun and I got all my shopping done um, so then we had to, the next day we had to get up again really early and head for the airport. Our flight was until 11.30, so we got a cab um, from our hotel, Marriott Marquis, Times Square to JFK. And it actually didn't take that long, but like we were going to JFK and the traffic coming back was like stop dead, like bumper to bumper. So we, our cab driver is like, oh, I have to come back and that, but not your job. So, not our problem. Um, and so we got to the hotel, or we got to JFK, we went and checked their bags, and then um, we had time to kill before our flight, because we got to the JFK so much earlier, Terminal 5, and so we hadn't had breakfast yet, and there was Dunkin' Donuts and like a bunch of shops in Terminal 5 for JetBlue. So I was like, oh, I'll go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a coffee and a bagel or something. So I got my coffee. I had my carry-on, and I was so flustered by the flight that I had to do it again. And then, so I'm walking through the terminal with my big, large, or medium iced coffee by Dunkin' Donuts, and I drop it. Yeah, I dropped my iced coffee in the middle of... JFK in front of it in front of everyone like I was so embarrassed but oh well I was swearing I dropped my stuff I told my sister to sit with my stuff and so then I found someone came along and I'm like clean this up I'm going to get another copy so they a janitor or something cleaned it up I was so rude but I was so mad because I had to do the flight again and I just didn't want to. Like I was so ready to just do the train again because I didn't want to do the flight but I had to. It was already paid for. So done my coffee. I went and grabbed another one and I had to get back in line and wait again and it was getting more busy. So I went and got in line, got another coffee, held it with two hands, walking through JFK back to the table to sit down across from some shops and then drink it and I was like well if I drink this huge thing I'm gonna go to the bathroom on the plane and I'm not getting up walking on the plane like that would just freak me out at 36,000 feet so um I sat down I drank like half of it and then it was time to wait and just stew about the flight which was a bad idea and couldn't sleep I had no wi-fi on my ipod I didn't have my phone so it was pretty annoying. Um, so finally we actually boarded at 11, which was really early. So then we're like, well, I want to board early because I don't have to sit there and like think about it. And I didn't want to. And we, it was like a plane that was like JetBlue was on Brer. It was two, an aisle, and two seats. So me and my sister sat together. It was aisle, my mom, and another person. Um, and the other person was like a frequent flyer. So they were fine. Kept my mom calm. Um, thank you for that. And so we left on time, our flight left on time, and the takeoff wasn't bad. Um, we hit turbulence here and there, but it wasn't too bad, I guess. Um, I had like a neck pillow, like a pink polka dotted neck pillow, and I squeezed the hell out of it the entire time. Like I just like had it, and like I ended up popping a blood vessel or something in my wrist from squeezing it so hard and being so nervous. But... Um, it, it was fine in the end, so we landed. Um, we hit the runway at JFK pretty quick. I felt, we all felt that, like, the brakes, he had to hit the, they hit the brakes hard. And we kind of, like, went forward a bit, and, um, it, it was crazy. Um, also, I was trying to just fix up my makeup on the plane, and I was trying to, like, do, like, concealer or whatever, Doing makeup at 36,000 feet in the air, hitting turbulence, bad idea. Never again will I do that. Um, 
But anyway, so we hit the runway hard and fast, and we um, we landed fine. And then I had had enough of flying by then. So the plane stopped. We had to wait for a gate. We went to our little gate in the tunnel, and everyone started standing up, and we can get your overhead bin stuff out. And I stood up, grabbed my carry-on and my pillow, and I was out of that plane so quick, down the tunnel, flew into Buffalo Airport, and I was like, I'm done. Never flying again. But, um, so then I had to wait for my mom and my sister to get off the plane, and then I was like, I have to go to the bathroom now from that coffee, because I wasn't getting up and going on the plane. So, um, we went to the bathroom, we went and got our stuff, and then I pulled my luggage off the conveyor belt at Buffalo, and I opened it up, and I smelled something. I was like, what the hell happened? Like, what did you guys do? So, my, I guess my heat tamer, my Tresemme, ended up spilling. But I had it in so many bags that it didn't get anywhere except in the bag and all over, like, other bottles, which stayed shut. Because um, it was, like, a spray thing. And I was, like, I opened the bag up. I took it out of my suitcase, checked all my clothes and my gifts and everything and the stuff I bought. Nothing was ruined or damaged. So I was like, okay, that's good. So then I went, um, I took the bag out and then we went, we got the shuttle. We went back across the hotel to the days in where we had originally stayed before leaving out of Buffalo, um, on the Sunday and grabbed our car. Cause that's where we left it. And then we headed for the border and headed home. And that's about it. And this video is getting very long and I'm rambling on now. So, um, if you guys have any questions about my New York City trip, um, just ask me. I probably rambled on here a lot. And my hair is bothering me, as you can tell. Um, so I'll be willing to answer any questions that you guys have. Just, like, you can tweet me. I'll put some, like, maybe tweet me, an email, or whatever. Um, and let me know, have you, have you guys been to Manhattan? Or have you not? Do you want to go? Do you like flying? Do you not like flying? What's your best airline that you like? All that good stuff. Um, leave it down below. Um, I'll leave like info in the info bar and I think that's it so subscribe if you guys want to give it a thumbs up um, I'll leave pictures throughout the video so you guys can see and I think that's it so I will talk to you guys later bye